Her 96-year-old husband, Prince Philip, officially retired from public life in August, but could the Queen give up more duties or even abdicate in 2018? Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter, former press secretary to the Queen until 2000, told Express.co.uk the head of state will never step down and there are no signs of her weakening, Mr Arbiter said. The Queen made a very committed statement which she made on her 21st birthday and she has repeated that several times during her reign, there are no signs of her weakening, no signs of reduced mental capacity, the royal commentator said the Queen will pace herself to manage her still demanding schedule and has already reduced her work commitments from four and a half days to three, he added the nanny one-year-old monarch will pick the appointments that she chooses to honour and is very good at managing her work-life balance. The royal family has had one famous abdication in the family, that of Queen Elizabeth's uncle Edward VIII, a move which scandalized Britain back in 1936. King for less than a year, Edward VIII chose to give up his crown for love by marrying American divorcee Wallace Simpson, but Elizabeth II has never been under such similar pressures and has been happily married to Prince Philip for 70 years. She is therefore unlikely to be unaffected by her uncle's decision to abdicate. Mr. Arbiter told Express.co.uk, he said, the Queen believes in the monarchy, she believes in commitment to tradition and believes it creates stability. Unlike most pensioners enjoying their retirement, Elizabeth II is still working into her 90s, but with a gradual slowing down of duties, could she pass the responsibility of her annual speech on to another royal family member such as her son Prince Charles? Not according to Mr. Arbiter who told Express.co.uk. It is the only time of year that she can say that she wants to say not what other people want her to say. They are her words and she will continue to do that. The Queen's speech is watched by millions of people every year and has been read by Elizabeth II since 1952. Today it is broadcast on television, radio and the internet to the 52 member states of the Commonwealth of Nations every Christmas. Many people will enjoy tuning in on Christmas Day and will be hoping that this is indeed not the Queen's final speech. Thank you for watching.